Welcome to my reviews. Today we're gonna take a look at Adidas Door Gym. Let's take a look at the box first. So this is the front side of the box, back, and the other side. We have top and bottom. Let's see what's inside the box. So many different parts here and this is the only manual that it comes with. So I guess it must be really simple to assemble. This one comes with a screwdriver and also this other thing. So you don't need any pre-existing tools to assemble this. But as you can see it's moving quite a bit. I guess I have to make it more tight, the screws more tight. <laughs> okay, something strange happened. I don't know if this is supposed to happen or not, but... You see? One of the bolts broke. So there's this little bolt that's supposed to make it tighter. And when am I making it more tight? This top got off. From here. It doesn't really matter because you can still make it more tight but it just shows you that the quality is not so great maybe. I made the bolts more tight. But as you can see, it's still a little bit wiggly. But I don't think that matters. Let's put the final part on. Okay, I got it assembled. One weird thing is that these bolts, I don't know if it's a feature or not, but you see? This little thing is like coming off. Like this one already came off. This one is fine, but it's starting to break as well too. And this one, yeah, this one is fine too. But you see, it's coming like half off. I don't know why it, it's doing this. The bolts are too long. Now we see how does this assemble to the door frame. Okay, staying on place. Look, so this side went in, as you can see it's on the top, but this other side, it's loose, it's not connected, there's a gap. So now I try this another door, let's see if it works. Okay, I found a solution. I unloosened all the bolts. So it's like wiggly right now, as you can see. But now, it's going well. 
Yeah, let's try it. I'm kind of afraid. I'm afraid that my door frame will break. I'm not putting my full body weight yet. Oh, I'm hanging. Oh shit, the door is making noise. But it is working somehow. I'm hanging from my whole weight. Let's try to tighten the nuts and try again. This is what I meant before. It's like shaking like this, wiggling. And you have to tighten the nuts when it's exactly the straight. Tighten the bolts again now and you see what happens. It becomes uneven again. How can I make it even? Look, this is not good. Again, I untightened the screws and now it's not wilking anymore. But from side to side it's still going like this. So I guess what you have to do is not tighten them at all or just very lightly tighten them so none of them go uneven. Like slowly and see how it goes. I don't really know what's going on. I mean, I tried to make them tight again and it's so uneven. Look. So uneven. How can this happen? What am I doing wrong? I have no idea. Untighten the bolts again and see? Now it's completely even. Okay, I'm trying to put my full body weight now on it. I have my full body weight on the pull-up bar now. Let's do some pull-ups. It's working! So... When I loosened the bolts, I was able to mount it on my door frame, but it's kind of weakly still. It doesn't feel safe when I'm doing pull-ups. And you see these bolts, you can like screw them with your hands. I imagine if you do many pull-ups in a row, they're gonna loosen up and fall down like this. So I don't feel safe doing pull-ups here. So, my final thoughts on Adidas Door Gym. You know, I got this for only 20 euros. It was discounted. The normal price of this is 50 euros. So I got it over half off. And I was really happy about the deal. Until I started to assemble it. And I realized the only reason this was on discount was because this product sucks. I know Adidas from their quality boots another sport equipment but this one is not living up on the standards you see the bolts are breaking up this is not adidas quality this would not happen and the problem where it like wiggles and it's like uneven that's really dangerous when you're doing pull-ups you don't want it to fall down and you like break your knees or something so safety will be number one and this one is not living up on the standards of Adidas. This product is not safe. I just don't understand how it's wiggling this much. And when you tighten the bolts, like I showed you before, it's getting uneven and it doesn't stay up on the frame. I don't know if it's just this product or all, all the same. Maybe this is a faulty one, I don't know. But I'm actually gonna give this product like uh, one out of five. <coughs> Like, this is completely crap. You know, I don't recommend this product for anyone. There are many pull-up bars on the market, and I'm sure that most of them are better than this crap, this wicking piece of crap. This is not safe. It's not high quality like Adidas used to be. And yeah, 
waste of money. I'm gonna return this to the shop tomorrow. But yeah, thanks for watching this review. And don't buy this product, okay? It's crap. And I see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.